all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and for this video i wanted to give you guys an update in regards to me going free to play for the foreseeable future in marvel future fight so in case you missed it 5.9 dropped right we got professor x we got mystique we got whew, mr sinister i had to take a deep breath before that one because what a letdown that is right then we got a new uniform for logan another disappointment lord magnus finally rising to where i think he should be in the game gene gray is getting a uniform it's debatable whether she needed one or deserved one that's not a subject that we're gonna discuss in this video nimrod got a uniform i still need to test him out a little bit more but word is he's good i say all that to say this update started off as something that could have been a lot more than it currently is it could have been literally one of the best updates ever because people have been asking for professor x and mystique for a very very long time and it's just sad that with an update like this it just it's just going to waste all because of the greed of the future fight team not net marvel the future fight team i'm coming for you guys okay I'm going to speak directly to you guys. You guys are ruining this game for all of us. I see people throwing around Netmarble this, Netmarble that, Netmarble. Listen, guys, the CEO of Netmarble is not telling the Future Fight team to make these changes. They're doing these things to try and make as much money as possible to impress said CEO. Okay? The reason for that is very simple. They're just trying to kiss up to whoever writes their check. So... By doing so, they're essentially shitting on us, and I'm not with it. So, moving forward, my days of spending money on Marvel Future Fight has come to an end. It came to an end when this update dropped, and I realized what they were up to. And essentially, the reason why I'm making this video is because I had a lot of you guys hitting me up, asking me if I was dead serious about what I said. And I'm here to show you guys just how serious I am. All of my subscriptions are expiring. My daily boost, gone. Never renewing that until we start seeing proper changes in Future Fight. Okay, this is next up. That's 16 days left on this thing. Once it's gone, it's gone and I'm not purchasing it again. All right. Additionally, let me show you guys something right here. Something that I was not a fan of in the beginning that I purchased and I've been continually purchasing every single month actually twice a month it's actually the additional inventory space right the um i'm sad i'm actually really sad because it kind of grew on me you know even though i don't think it's the greatest deal ever right this thing right here the shield support pack bought it been buying it just because of the additional inventory space because i've seen that they're not ever gonna really give us additional inventory space for free and i kind of understand it because it takes up space on the server they have to pay for server space so the money has to come from somewhere right however not renewing that ever again not renewing this once it's done and that's sad because i've been supporting these guys since about six months into me playing Marvel Future Fight. I played my first couple months completely free to play because I've been burned before. I played a Marvel game, Marvel War of Heroes. Loved that game. Loved that game until it became a pay to win shit show. Left it, said I would never spend on another freaking mobile game. I went to go play X-Men Battle of the Atom. Spent on that thing too. Turned into a shit show. Then it died, right? Came the Future Fight and it started off amazing right it truly did i came in i didn't feel like i needed to spend on anything to get to where i got to and i initially just started spending because i wanted to support the game and better my gameplay experience obviously right however the direction th these guys are taking the game and have been taking the game for the past year is not one that i can support any longer what that means is i said it before content on the channel when it comes to future fight may look a little bit differently going forward unless they start changing the direction that they're going right i cannot continue to purchase stuff to promote stuff for this game 
just for these guys to shit on the player base. Okay? Not going to happen. Sure, they're putting things in the game that I can afford to buy, but that's not the point. Okay? That's not the point. You're not rewarding people enough for how much you're asking them to spend on this game. Essentially, you're just trying to get as much as you can and just say, fuck it to everybody else. Right? Not cool. Okay, you brought in a new game mode. Big deal. Big whoop. The game mode itself just seems like a cash grab. And if you're designing a game mode and it's not for the players to actually enjoy and feel like they're getting something out of it, and it's just for you to make money, right? That's not cool, right? You can see for yourself the very fact that this thing is about to reset in 13 hours and I have not played it yet is not because I don't want the rewards that it offers. It's just because these guys are absolutely disgusting what they're doing to Marvel Future Fight right now. And it, it's very upsetting. And some of you guys are going to say, yeah, why are you getting so upset about a game? The thing is, I've played this game for almost five years. You don't do something every single day, five to six hours a day, if you don't actually enjoy doing it or love it in some way, shape or form. So of course, I'm attached to the game. And when I react negatively to things that I see in the game, I think it's justified, especially when I've invested thousands of dollars right into the game and years of my life that i'll never get back right so obviously i don't want this game to die anytime soon especially not when i think it has so much more potential to grow so this to me needs to end they need to shift the direction that they're bringing this game into and if I have to like go back to being free to play and try to convince a couple people to do the same, to bring down the revenue of the game, because that's essentially all that matters, leaving them a one star, telling them F you, well, all this stuff, that, that means nothing, okay? It makes you feel better in the moment, but as long as they're still making money, nothing is going to change, right? Nothing. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm upset. I'm really upset because... I didn't want it to come to this, but this is where we are right now. Look at my inventory. I have over 200 additional items, right? Which means I'm going to have to spend hours, literally hours, going through my inventory, right? Trying to find stuff that I can get rid of. And yeah, that's going to be very difficult. It means I'm going to have to like literally do this, right? I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my roster. And what I'm going to have to do is just give everybody six star ISOs, whether they're deserving or not, giving them better like custom gears, whether they're de deserving or not. All because the Future Fight team has decided to forsake us. And as such, I can no longer support them. It is really, really sad. I never thought I would see the day that after supporting this game from my first six months, right? Literally after my first six months, if you guys have been here from the get-go, rocking with me all this time, you can go back. And you remember I said it. I started purchasing the Stark Stash. I was one of you guys, the Stark Stashers, right? The casual spenders, right? Then eventually, I came onto YouTube because I wanted to help out a couple friends of mine that were having some difficulty clearing content, specifically Shadowland content, right? And then you guys wanted more from me. You wanted content at a faster pace. So I started investing more and more money in the game, right? And then I got to where I am right now, VIP 13. I'm not trying to brag or nothing. You guys are the reason why I'm here, all right? So it is really, really sad that after all this time, I'm going to have to go back to the free-to-play grind, but I have no problem with it. If it means that these guys can wake up and go back back when shit was actually good and they cared about us or at least it seemed as though they cared about us you know what i'm saying like it's really really sad and i hope these guys will wake up before they start losing literally all of the players that we have in the game like it is actually so sad like i don't know what i'm gonna do to clear up over 250 inventory slots the best i can do oh that's actually really good is start re-rolling cards and like literally go to every individual okay that's bad every individual character and just awaken everything that i have on them like i don't know let me know if i'm over exaggerating and you guys don't think what they're doing with squad battle and the mandalay gem 
is worth being upset about because i am very very much so upset about it right the mystique package is very disgusting but you can easily dodge that that's something that you can just say okay they're trying to rob me right i'm i'm not gonna fall for it but like you know what i'm saying the okay hold up what oh that's oh it's locked is it locked for a reason Anyways, but the Mandalay gem thing is something you're going to have to live with forever unless we band together against these guys and say, listen, it's enough. Enough is enough, right? You guys have to find a different way to bring in this whole new item, right? This is actually not bad, but he has no cooldown. That sucks. Anyways, how many spaces did I free up? Wow. I'm just mad. I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. But at the end of the day... I just wanted to vent a little bit, right? And let you guys know that even though my subscriptions are running out, right? And it's going to put me in a very difficult position when it comes to items that I've accumulated from playing the game. I'm going to have to find a way to make it work because you can't play anything in the game if your inventory is full. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if the game mode that you're playing in doesn't give you an item that takes up inventory space. Like if I go into World Boss, you know what I'm saying? Going into World Boss is just going to give me like black antimatter and that kind of stuff. But that doesn't have a limit. Also, yo, Rico, check this out. I told you I had over a million <laughs> dimension debris. I wasn't lying, bro. Like that shit is mad useless. And stuff like that is what they need to find use for, right? Instead of freaking putting in Mandalay gems or whatever. Let us convert some of these dimension debris into freaking Mandalay gems, right? How about that? Like I'm actually just mad, bro. So... Yes, I'm going to be joining you guys on the free-to-play hustle. And we're going to see... Actually, that can clear up some space. And we're going to see what the channel looks like in the next month for the anniversary update and then going forward. No, I'm not going to be quitting Marvel Future Fight because there's still just a lot of love that I have in the game. I put a lot of love into these characters. And unless they completely destroy the game modes themselves from top to bottom, I can still find stuff in the game to enjoy and possibly make content on so for me i'm not asking all of you to join me but i'm just saying think to yourself right think for yourself make your own decision if you think the mandalay gem and the whole awakening thing is not a big deal then you don't have to join me right but at the end of the day just keep in mind that the way how they've been acting lately means they can do whatever they want whenever they want with no repercussion look what they did with world boss like i'm saying like out of nowhere boom they immediately just decided they're gonna nerf mind control and inadvertently nerf defense down at the same time it just shows you that at any point in time these guys can just like devalue all that you invest in right on a whim and if you don't stand up and say enough is enough they're just gonna continue to do that Star Agent or not, I do not care. Like, they can miss me with their 5,000 crystals. You feel me? They can take it back off my account. I don't care, right? I'd rather get real changes in the game for everyone to enjoy than sit here and support this game and collect 5,000 crystals that I can just buy for myself, right? So, yeah, which even when I was, like, like getting the 5,000, I was still spending, like, over $150, $200, on the game so it's not like they were giving me five thousand crystals and i was just saying okay that month i don't have to spend any money no i was still putting money into the game just because it's a good update and i liked it not this one obviously right but the, the updates before like i still have stuff in my inventory right just to show you guys this i don't know what this was like from what look at this so like i'm gonna be good when it comes to like getting like crystal items in the game i have when was the phoenix 5 update bro that was like four or five months ago, right? It just shows you guys the kind of a hoarder I am and why my inventory looks the way it looks, right? It's not because I spend a whole bunch of money on the game per se. Well, I do to bring you guys content at a faster pace, but at the exact same time, everything that I spend on, I try to micromanage it in a way where it lasts me for a very, very long time, right? And that Phoenix 5 box should really show you because that update was like in October or some shit right or november and i still have it there back when we still had the unlimited timer so anyways long story short i'm gonna be riding with you guys on the free to play train all the way until this motherfucking game dies you know what i'm saying if these guys don't fix it up sorry for swearing 
right? I try to control myself in these videos, but realistically, lately, these guys have been pissing me off and I don't like it, right? And the fact is, it's been multiple days since we started speaking up about the squad battle rewards that need to be improved or the Mandalay gem that needs to be more accessible and they're not saying nothing, all right? So I don't know, man. You guys can let me know how you're feeling. I have already drawn my line in the sand. They're not getting another red cent out of my pocket, even if it means I have to play Marvel Inventory, Marvel Future Fight Inventory Simulator every friggin' day and just go through my inventory and just give everybody awaken everything, right? Or sell every freaking thing for gold to clear up enough space so I can actually play the game modes that I enjoy. If I have to do that every single day, from now until this game dies, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Cause I'm never buying another shield support pack. I'm not buying no more Stark Stash. I don't even care, bro. Even if, even if, and I'm gonna swear on my life, which is not even mine to swear on. However, even if they put every freaking thing in here for a dollar, a dollar, I'm not buying it. Some of y'all gonna say I'm idiotic. I don't care, bro. They could put everything in the shop for a dollar on sale. I wouldn't buy it. Because what we need is proper changes to the game moving forward. You know what I'm saying? We don't need temporary like little patches here or here. Nah, bro. We need real changes going forward. And these guys are messing up the game, man. You know what? Yo, I'm gone.